Welcome back to another episode of Warriors Miked Up. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about Teen Read Week, and we are joined by our very special guest, Miss Abbott. Our Ms. first Abbott. special guest. I'm so flattered. Thank you so much for having me on. <laughs> of course. So we want to know, what is Teen Read Week about? Okay, so Teen Read Week was something that was started by the class of 2015, and it was in an effort to, one, encourage reading in the school. So, of course, you have kids that love to read anyway, so this was kind of a motivator to see yeah. how far they could push themselves to read for the month of October. And then it's also something positive. Maybe kids don't like to read. Maybe they're like, Mrs. Abbott, I hate reading. That this gives them something positive to mm. associate with mm -hmm. reading. And so it's a win-win. The readers love it. And even non-readers get to have something fun that they like to do that mm. may ultimately encourage them to read also. Yeah, exactly. I think that's awesome. And you are the founder. Well, with the class of 2015, class of you 2015. got to give them their props. Yes, so if you're course. watching A2015, shout out. We love you. We miss you. <laughs> Um, and also great contribution to the school. Yes. Um, but yeah, so is there any, what's your favorite part about Teen Read Week for you? My favorite part about Teen Read Week is actually working with the senior leaders. Ooh. I handpick the senior leaders and I love working with them. They have lots of different personalities and I like to see them rise to the challenge. People don't realize this because we have had Teen Read Week leaders who are also class presidents, NHS presidents, captains of their sports teams, and they will tell you that Teen Read Week was the ultimate challenge of leadership. So I love working with them. I love seeing their excitement. They're the ones who design the shirts, the posters, the theme. So nothing happens without the senior class. Yeah. So that is the thing I love the most is working with the seniors during yeah. Teen Read Week. And as being a leader this year, trust me, we haven't even started Teen Read Week. And just by drafting, it's like a lot. <laughs> it's so it much. So tell us, how do you get organized? Like, how do you get everything started and like put together for, you know, one of the biggest weeks in our whole school year? Well, we actually start um, the year before. So we start in May. So right as the seniors are getting ready to graduate, I talk to the upcoming senior class and start talking about who would be interested in being a leader, um, who fits the criteria, because there's lots of different criteria to be a leader. Mm -hmm. And then I start working with that group and asking them, okay, what book would you like? What theme would you like for this year's Teen Read Week? What game? So that starts all the way in May of the year before. We work a lot on the summertime about it. And then as she can tell you, we're already drafting for Teen Read Week. So it's a long process with a lot of things to get done, but yeah. it's very exciting. And um, if you want to explain the events of um, Teen Read Week, what happens throughout the week? Okay, so Teen Read Week is about all sorts of things. It's not just about reading. It's about we have athletic games that they participate in. We have one that is a staff favorite, which is the cooking competition. Yeah. So they have to design a table that matches the theme of their team, and they make food. Sometimes it's a breakfast. Sometimes it's a lunch. And they have guests come in to judge the food, so that's very exciting. We also have a costume contest, and we have a talent show. So that one is always very interesting. <laughs> interesting to wrap it up on Friday. So a lot of different aspects. If you love to bake, if you love to dress, mm -hmm. if you love athletic things, of course, Teen Read Week. So we the mm -hmm. readers are actually the stars. So we have a huge reading competition where they get 300 points for every book that they read from a particular list. Yeah. So it's very yeah. exciting for everybody. I think honestly, this is probably like one of the best things of the year because it has so many different aspects that you could read, you could be an athlete, you can like love to cook and decorate, and yet you can contribute so much to your team. Uh, is there anything you can tell us about this year's Teen Read Week? Any yes. Insight, like, Are we ready teams, to disclose the theme? The theme? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Are you okay with that? I'm okay. I think by the time this video comes out, our posters will be out, I'm hoping. Okay. So, yes, so the seniors this year picked The Lightning Thief by Rick Rorden, and that's because it was like a great memory for them as middle school students. It was one of the books that inspired them to like to read, and you'd be surprised about um, who's the one who loved it the most and read the most, um, Jason Salgado. Yeah, so, Jason, Jason was a book nerd when we were little. <laughs> he was. See, you could be a book nerd and an athlete. So exactly. um, it's going to be that book. So it's all around that we have different teams like Athena, Ares, Aphrodite, Zeus. 
uh, mm-hmm. Poseidon. So we have six different I teams. personally think Zeus is probably like the coolest team. We'll have to see. We'll have to see if they're the ones who pull out the win. I think so. And we've drafted already, so I yeah. think that's exciting. So the seniors, they drafted the leaders for every single grade. There are two leaders in every grade for every team. So the seniors have already picked you. I don't know if you know who you are yet, but you will know that <laughs> soon. And they've drafted the high school. Mm. It was a lot of drama and many days of picking, but oh we finally did gosh. that. It took, w- it took way longer than it should have. It did. I think it took like three, three days, right? What? Three days of Is lunches. that the longest you've ever had to draft? Um, unfortunately, yes, but also thank <laughs> Jason Salgado all, for that. <laughs> it was all Jason's fault. We love you, Jason. <laughs> it was very awesome. Mm-hmm. Yes, but so that's exciting. So we are going to post those teams October 2nd. So look forward outside yeah. the media center in the high school and you'll see what team you're a part of. And dress out. That's super important, especially if you're on Zeus. If you're on Zeus and you're not going to dress out, don't come to school. I'm just kidding. But like... <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> My parents are going to be really mad at me. But <laughs> please dress out. It's super important. You get Those are like easy points you get for your team. And just participate. It's true. Very, you get 100 points a day for your team just by not wearing your school uniform. It's wonderful. You can lose by 100 points if one person doesn't dress out. So how, don't be that one person. How does the point system work? There are different points for every single competition. It could be literally just 300 points for reading a book. We have a famous scavenger hunt, so mm. it usually kicks off Teen Read Week. So we'll have to see what the scavenger hunt is this year. But just for finding something, you could get 100 points for your team. And I always give you a candy, too, so there's something in it for you and your team. Exactly. Um, and they're up to thousands of points, mm-hmm. specifically for to talent show is a lot of points. The cooking competition is a lot of points. So anywhere from 100 to thousands of points. Yeah. And as, you know, Mrs. Abbott, what's your favorite memory of just past Teen Read Weeks? <laughs> I... Um, Of course, you know, I'm a librarian, so I love how many books get read. But beyond that, the talent shows. If I remember some of those talent (laughs) shows, the shark, who can forget? Oh my gosh, the shark. The shark. That was probably one of the best Or the synchronized swimming one. That one was so good. Okay, that one took a lot of effort and they definitely dedicated themselves. They did. So I love to see, one time we had like a Broadway level show. Do you remember that? That was Michi, wasn't it? Yes, that was incredible. She's like super Broadway show. She did her whole thing. So I love to see what they're going to come up with, whether it was a comedy thing or... Last year when Kirby shaved his head, you know, <laughs> oh, so yeah. you never know what's going to happen. It was, you never um, know what's going to happen to this talent show. Element of surprise. So I do enjoy that. Um, so this might be a little tough, but what has been your favorite book that has been chosen as a theme for Teen Read Week? Wow. <laughs> that is a tough one because there's been so many good ones. Um, I think I might have to take it back all the way to the beginning. When they first started, they picked Divergent. And so that was nice because it has kind of an automatic six teams built into it. So, But I've liked all the books. But I think if I had to pick it, it would be the the Divergent. The original is always usually better than the the originators. (laughs) Um, No, so yeah, I'm just encourage you all to just dress out any um advice you would like to give to leaders who are leading the teams this year um my advice to them is to delegate you drafted a team so use that team maybe you're not great at cooking that's okay then you need to look out to your 11th grade leaders 10th grade leaders and get them involved um maybe you're not well talented i don't want to say you're not talented but you're not (laughs) talented for the talent show yeah so make sure that you delegate and encourage those people even if it's um somebody to read many times i've had kids come running in here that have never come to ever check out a book and they'll say miss abbott i have to have a book my leader told me i have to read for them so encourage your team have them read have them dress up have them cook whatever you need them to do yeah I agree. I think it's super important just to use who you have. Because obviously you're not going to be able to win by yourself. No, not at all. (laughs) It's a team thing. So, yeah. Anything else you want to add? No. Okay, so aside that, on the show, for every guest we're going to have, we're going to be asking them two main questions, and that's what's your favorite verse and how has your walk in religion helped you on the daily? Um, Jeremiah 29, 11. 
That's my favorite verse because I love that it talks about God's plans for us and that they are good. Mm -hmm. No matter what's happening in your life, his plans for you are good. We're verse twins. I like that. Thank you. <laughs> um, how does it help me on the daily? I, I couldn't get through one day without God, one day without him. I feel it in my life. I do like to get up in the morning and do my devotions in the morning. I am not a morning person. So I love you, Jesus, that I got it that <laughs> early in the morning. But it's because it does change my day. Yeah. On the days something goes wrong where I'm not up in the morning to do my devotions, I feel it immediately that yeah. I need that. So... I couldn't make it even one day without yeah. God. He changes everything in my life, my attitude, um, just the way I look at life. So I, I really don't know how people make it without God, period. I don't know how they no, do it. Yeah. So everything. Amen. <laughs> there you go. Well, um, we hope you guys have fun on um, Teen Read Week. Just a quick little shout out to the new senior hoodies. <laughs> Ooh, very <Sorry>. nice. <laughs> um, I hope to see class of 2024 wearing them out there. Definitely. So, um, yeah. Can I close it off? Yeah, you can do okay, it. Okay, I'll close. So I hope to see you guys out having fun during Teen Read Week. And make sure to dress out and support your teams. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.